And a one and a two and a three. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to Sarah. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, y'all. That is so nice. Yes, it is my birthday. I'm 23, and I don't know how to feel about that. 23 is awkward. It's not a real age. And I'm in quarantine, so. What am I supposed to do today? I don't know. The only thing that I want to do is play Life is Strange. Well, actually, I want to go to a club, but I can't do that. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna play Life is Strange. Because guess what? Life is fucking strange right now. Yes, I bought merch. I bought Life is Strange merch, and I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, y'all. I am in this shit. I have some things to discuss first. My hair is looking busted. If you guys don't want to hear me rant about this and just want to get into the game, here you go. But I just want to vent really quick. It's my birthday. I got out of the shower. I thought everything was chill. I blow dry my hair, and I'm starting to see my musty roots, my orange yellow roots again. The demi permanent shit was fading, but basically, I kind of went ham with the bleach and the toner to get it. Oh my god. And so now I have pretty much platinum hair from this down, and then like yellow roots. Uh, now I have to go back in and do a shadow root. So this is not finished. That's why I put my hair up so you guys can roast me. It's my birthday. You can't roast me. What else? Oh, y'all, I am so pleased to announce. Bitch, I'm sitting on my gamer chair. Look at this shit. It's like a rocker chair. It's on the floor right now, but it folds up so it's like easy storage. This is not a promo, I promise. It's like easy storage. There's speakers on the sides. <laughs> this whole shit vibrates with the game. There's Bluetooth so you can hook up your phone to it and listen to music. And the bass is crazy. I would show you guys, but it's almost four in the morning and I have neighbors downstairs, so I can't be vibrating my whole apartment complex. Am I zoomed in? No, wait. But this chair is lit. This exceeded my expectations, but I need to tell you about the journey of how I got my chair. Like I said in my last video, I accidentally shipped this chair to my old apartment complex, right? And my mom, God bless Barb, Barb Nation. I don't know why I did the Illuminati symbol for Barb Nation. Barb was watching my video and she deadass was like, we're never gonna see that chair. Barb goes ahead and calls my old apartment complex and asks them if they still have the chair. So my mom calls me and I guess the leasing lady told my mom that the box was really heavy and to have me bring another person to help me lift it to the car. So my mom tells me that and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. And my mom says to me with her full chest, that this box was 275 pounds. <laughs> Texted me in a panic saying that I needed my boyfriend and one of his roommates to help me carry this box to my car and help me get it into my house because it was almost 300 pounds. And right away I'm like, what? It's a little rocker gamer chair. Like, is there gold in it? What is in the chair to make it 300 pounds, mom? And she's like, I don't know. Um, what? And I'm like, where did you get that number? And she's like, it, it just is. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sitting here like, do I even pick up this chair? Like, how big is this thing? And now my mom is calling me and she's like, you guys need to get one of those dolly things so you can roll it. It's gonna be way too heavy. And my mom's even texting Will being like, please go get a dolly. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, there's no way. I'm gonna see how much this chair actually weighs. I'm gonna go on Amazon and look at the description. <laughs> I'm like reading the reviews and everyone was like, this is such a great chair. Like no one had anything to say about how heavy it was. I'm like, what the fuck is my mom talking about? And I'm reading the description. <laughs> and bitch, bless Barb's heart. It said in the description that the max capacity was 275 pounds, which means you can't sit on it if you weigh more than 275 pounds. This bitch thought 
that that meant that the chair was too hot. I'm like, and I get to the part where it says weight and the weight is 40 pounds. I wish I could show you guys how it sounds because it sounds bomb. Like I was just sitting back here and I was listening to my music because I plugged my phone into it with Bluetooth and I'm just sitting back and I'm like, damn, I wish I still smoked weed. You know what I mean? Like I wish I could just get high without having a panic attack and just sit back and listen to some good trippy music, especially with these speakers right here with my cool new galaxy projector lights. Oh my God. So anyway, I love this fucking thing. She's my new friend. I don't know what to name her. Rocky, because it rocks and it rocks. So me and Rocky are about to embark on the Life is Strange journey part three. There was so much shit that happened. Chloe and Rachel meet up with my drug dealer at the junkyard. Why did you have to meet at a sketchy junkyard in the middle of nowhere? Doesn't make sense to me at all. And he almost killed me and my girlfriend. He pulled out a sword. Like it was the fucking medieval times. Will got so mad at me that I called it a sword because I guess it was a dagger or whatever the fuck. Was it a, d is that what he said it was? Quite honestly, that was a sword. But anyway, so he whipped out his sword, Rachel being the dumbass that she is in the heat of her adrenaline because I guess Damien called her mom a slut or some shit. But she got so mad at Damien calling her mom a slut. I would rather him call your mom a hoe then get killed. So she literally got a piece of plywood and thought it was a genius idea to smack him in the head, thinking that that would kill him. And he just got way more mad and ended up stabbing her with the sword anyway, but just on her arm. Me and Rachel get in the car, I take her to the hospital. Rachel's parents show up to the hospital. Her dad is creepily talking to me. I hate her dad, he's so fucking annoying. And then I go and I visit Rachel in the hospital room and she basically tells me, Sarah, I still really need to find my mom. I still like really want to meet her. But I'm looking at her and she's in a hospital bed because of me pretty much. Not really, but like that's my drug dealer. So I'm like, okay, whatever you want, Rachel. Anything for you just cause you're hot. Like what? But I'm so far up her ass. I am attached and I hate her. Sorry if I'm messing with my sleeves so much. My sleeves go down <laughs> to my fucking wrists. So, uh, after Rachel gives me this quest to find her mom, basically Rachel tells me to go trespass into her house and go into her dad's office and try to find the files on where her mom is. I leave the hospital room and I see bitch ass Warren. He proceeds to get in my business. He's asking me all these personal questions on why I'm hanging out with Rachel so much. I finally get the fuck out of that conversation. So I get to Rachel's house cause I'm trespassing. I'm rummaging through her dad's files. I find a fucking burner phone that he's talking to Damon on cause apparently they're working together. Rachel's dad is gonna go pay him to kill her so that she doesn't have anything to do with Rachel, I found the money in Rachel's dad's office to give him and he gives me the address, right? And as I'm about to leave and go on this quest to I guess save Rachel's mom, fucking Warren walks in. He just walks in. He literally followed me from the hospital. I really discreetly called 911 and he didn't notice the cops show up. When the alarm went off and the cops showed up, I fucking booked it out of the house and I went through the back probably. Warren was left there so it looks like he broke in by himself so I think I'm off the hook. So basically now I have arrived at the scene where Rachel's mom is being held hostage. I got the money. I'm probably about to get killed, jumped. So yeah, let's get into it. Sorry for this super long intro. I just, I haven't seen you guys in a minute. I had some updates and it's my birthday. So who cares? Oh my God, my life is strange shirt. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so scared. You got this girl. Actually, I don't know. Shit. I cannot take myself seriously is with that that, <laughs> that fucking hot dog shirt. Wait, did she say is that blood? 
That looks like poop. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is poop. Frank? Oh my god. Oh Frank. my god. Frank! Where are you, Frank? No, but where the fuck is Frank? Oh my god, Shit, is Frank dead? Is, is Frank dead? I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've gotta help Rachel's mom. Oh my god. Wait, is Frank dead? What is that blood for? Or is it poop? Oh my god, okay. This is so sketchy. Why am I alone? This is not okay. I am a teenage girl. And I'm just alone in this shed. With someone who could- Sarah. Oh my god, I have to fucking- Okay. Alright. Ew, I hate this. I feel like something's gonna pop out at me. Why is there a knife? But I'll take it. I need protection. Nope, that's a sword too. Okay, I got my sword. Why is there a phone right there? Sheldon, you gotta believe me. I ni I nay. What's I nay? Are you a horse? I'm not a goddamn snitch. Oh, who the fuck told you that? Oh my god, this is the guy that I just fucking accused. Um, that I just said that he was the snitch. Well, Sheldon, you're a liar. So, you are the fucking snitch. Okay, I don't want to see Rachel's mom tied up. Like, I'm actually really scared. Here we go. Everything's going to be just fine. She's Just hot too. Longer, and all your troubles are going bye bye. What is that? What the fuck? Were those matches? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand? Why does your he. Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. Um... So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want <sighs> to see her. You don't have to. Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture, so that's oh. what's going to happen. Okay, so he did this hire him to so kill her. Wow. So now he's gonna fucking overdose her. Oh my god, this After is crazy. All, no one believes a junkie. No. Oh, I thought he was gonna stick it up her nose. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. Dude. Oh my god, what do I do? You can do this. Why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do Davis. this? What the hell are you doing here? Oh my god, fuck me. Fuck me. Um, okay, I'll just say I've got your money, period. Period. But wait, isn't Rachel's dad giving him money to kill her? Or is he not gonna kill her if I give him money? Huh? I'ma- oh, Fuck. I'ma just say, I've got your money, honey. <laughs> I wish I could type. I've got your money, honey. Okay. I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? He owes How him? The fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Run! <laughs> just- Just let her go. And I won't say. <gasps> oh, fuck. Fuck me. Oh, fuck me. me. Shut up. Oh my god, I should have used the knife. Or the sword. What the? Fuck? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I am an you idiot. The DA shit. Got my money. Hold on. Okay, I think. If I would have used the sword, then it wouldn't have worked. Like, there's no way I could have just killed him and then boom, game's over, you know? Um, I feel like if I used the sword right off the bat, he would obviously see it and he would fucking probably hurt me, you know? 
So I think that they just had that as an option to trick me, but I think I did the right thing, right? There's no talking to this man, so I feel like giving him the money was the right move, but why does he gotta hit me? I'm a teen. Okay. Burn the evidence? All that? I'm just trying to help. <gasps> Ow! Get away from her! Oh my god, that was not I necessary. Said, Shut the fuck up! This isn't necessary. Oh my no. god! Go to your fucking happy place. Oh, did he just do it? Right. Did he just fucking do it? Let this be a lesson, kid. Did he stab her? Make good with life choices. <laughs> with the heroin? End up like her. Now, what do I do with- Damon! What did you do? Wait. Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. I'm sorry. Is he stabbed in the heart? And he's just walking around. That was right where his heart is, right? I need to look again. But it looks like he just got stabbed in the heart. Also, I hate to say it, but why do I kind of like Damon's style? Like, I kind of like his neck tat, and I kind of like his jewelry. Okay, anyway. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Dude, that's like right in the heart. Then I don't want to. Can do we this stop again. playing with swords? Come on, man. Fuck you. Dude. In the head? Really? In the head? You did not have to give me a concussion. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is sad. Wait, did I make the right decision? Fuck me. What could I have done? Sarah? Huh? Chloe Price. Is this a dream? <laughs> Am I lucid dreaming? Is this sleep paralysis? Um, you know my name? You know who I am? I saw you in the play. You were funny. How? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Sit. How did you know about it? Are you okay? Uh, we need to talk about what happened. Clearly she's not okay. I kind of question. I'm so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. Know about what? What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that- Rachel can never know. I'm just saying I don't understand because I don't. Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar! James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. I agree with both things. I'ma just... I just... She deserves the truth. Don't I don't know. The truth matters more. The truth? What's so great about the truth, Chloe? Bruh, so she Why doesn't have are you trauma? All this? Because more trauma? James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken. I'm gonna just say, you're strong, period. No. You're not. You're stronger than you realize. Wait, is this really happening or is you this a dream? You don't know anything about me. Is this real? 
I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. How am I just talking to her when I literally have a concussion and I just got beat up and jumped? I don't get what's going on. I lost... I lost my father. I lost my father... two years ago. How? Car accident. Mm. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. Yeah. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. Mm. No more sadness. No more grief. Mm. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? T. Ever. T. But that's just not good for you. Um... You quit for a year. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs you. I, I... I don't know anything about addiction. But I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Yeah. Rachel needs her family. I... I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but... I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. Mm. I know. <laughs> She's mm. fearless. I beg to differ. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. Mm. She's so let's, strong. Let's calm down, Chloe. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. Yeah. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. What? She has a perfect family. Bitch. They are far from perfect, or I thought my dad was perfect. Well, I don't even really know the tea about my dad. So I can't just say that. They are far from perfect. I'm just... Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole, and, and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. Then who is it about? It's about Rachel. Oh, well- Tell her what yeah. James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel Yo. through that? You don't fucking don't say that to me. Honestly, Rachel's dad sucks. She needs to set boundaries with him anyway. You know? Maybe telling Rachel about this is a good thing to get her toxic dad out of her life. Maybe not out of it completely, but just like boundaries. Remember your letter. Don't you want to see her? I can't lie to her. Oh my god. Obviously she wants to see her. That's obvious. I know she's gonna say yes, but I can't. I'm just, I'm just gonna say I can't lie to her. I can't lie to This is Rachel. too much. This is too much. I, I won't do it. She trusts me. And I don't want to ruin that. If you love her, you'll lie to her. That's... Nothing can change the mistakes I made. That's kind of fucked up. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. Can the, then can y'all be but like there's friends? One thing 
I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. I don't get... Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. But he sucks. You have the power. Great. What you have to decide. Why is this? Is whether you're mm. going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. Can everyone leave me the fuck out of this? I'm not her sister or some shit. So please. Why? Tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait. Don't leave. I'll take care. No, I'm not saying that shit. Don't leave. Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. Where are you gonna go? Okay. So that was real. That wasn't a dream. I'm just confused. Where am I? This is insane. So many of you guys roasted me saying, like, those weren't pajamas. <laughs> that was hospital gear. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hi, Chloe. Does she have the Rachel's fucking... just fallen asleep. ...the projector in the room? <laughs> I mean, that's sweet, I guess, but it's kind of extra. <laughs> I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Oh, fuck off. Maybe come back a little later? I'm gonna punch him. Go back to sleep, kiddo. Don't you call her kiddo. Rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Great. Okay, sweetie. We'll be what, right outside. What am I gonna fucking do? Do I tell her the truth? And cause her more pain? Or do I just protect her? Oh my god, why do I know so many- I know so much baggage. This family's crazy. I know so much shit. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed. <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. That's kind of rude. Maybe tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> we never actually escaped. <laughs> the flashlight? Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So y'all are still gonna how did everything go. Y'all are still gonna run away. Huh? Rachel. Oh, fuck. I've gotta tell you something. I am going to have an anxiety attack. Cause y'all know that fucking triangle in the corner that flashes, this determines how the game goes in a huge way. What the fuck? What the fuck do I do? <laughs> okay, let's think about it. If I protect Rachel from the truth, then she's just gonna keep on wanting to find her, you know? There's really no point in protecting Rachel from the truth because she's not gonna stop. Like, she already knows that her mom exists and she's, you know, around. Like, she literally knows. And she knows that my drug dealer has those connections, so she, she's not going to want to stop until she finds the bitch. But if I tell Rachel 
what happened that could possibly give her some closure so she won't have to stop searching for something that she'll never have, you know? Kind of like a, an addiction. Like, she will literally have an addiction to f searching for her mom because she knows she's out there. But if I just lay it all on the fucking hospital table, then maybe, oh my god, some healing can ensue. But I also don't want to piss Sarah off. But maybe we can come up with some. I don't fuck it. I'm just. Fuck it. I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her. Because fuck her dad. Fuck her dad. Fuck her dad. Fuck her mom. The only kind of sane person is her stepmom. She seems chill. <sighs> I can't lie to her. I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm doing it. I am doing it. Oh god. I can't with the nightlight. <laughs> oh, am I telling her? Oh shit, I'm telling her. I want to hear. What do I say? And how did I say it? What is she saying? Oh god, here we go. Ah, oh, me just tearing up this family left and right. Awesome. Just constantly causing everyone emotional damage. In years worth of therapy. Well, but fuck your dad. Fuck him. It's like... <sighs> Did I do the right thing? Did I do the right thing? Because she was starting to fucking like her dad again because he was being there for her. Now she doesn't have any parents. Oh my god, I just kind of realized what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Now she's gonna realize she has really no one besides me, which is gonna make her cling on to me even more. Fuck! I wanna distance myself from her. I. Fuck me. Did I just do the right thing morally, too? Because the way that I just saw her right now looking at her dad with such hate in her eyes, I'm like, I don't. But that hate and pain is valid because your dad sucks. But now, but like, you know what? People go through some shit like that where you have to look at your parents in a real ass way for who they really are and realize like, I don't like you. But she's also just a teen, so like, these years are very crucial on the psyche. Oh my god. Why does he look older? He looks like 10 years older. I love my drug dealer. He has a nice soul. Like he... Deep down. Aww. Aww, this is cute. Oh my god! Oh my god! David. Aww. 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 Aww, yeah, 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 get in there. It's okay. Just feel the love. It's okay. Don't. Ew. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. <laughs> Spit in your face. Fuck off. Oh my god. <gasps> Ey! He got it. So oh, fuck. He got expelled. Oh my god. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. This bitch got caught trespassing 
into Chloe's house and he got- Thank you. That's karma. Don't mess with me. Oh my god, that's like a weight lifted off my shoulders. I don't have to deal with his bullshit. Oh my god. Oh, these are my nerdy friends. Love them. Is this the end of the game? Wait, is this the end? No way. Who's this bitch? Ew. Ew. Ew, fuck Victoria. Wait, I don't, is this the end? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. So you guys are still on good terms, I guess. Whoa, whoa. Is she okay? Did he just, did she just flip him off? Oh, wait, did she just get expelled? Is this summertime? <laughs> I'm so confused. Why did she just run out of there like that? Aww, make out. So is she just like all good now? Get that feather out of your ear. I'm sick of it. Like what? Aww. Is the game over? I will be so unsatisfied. Please don't tell me the game is over. Is the game over? Oh bitch, do not tell me the game is over. Make out with me. Ooh, edgy. Oh, sick. Is that a stick and poke? Is it just them against the world now? see how I did. Oh my god, what? How is you told Rachel the truth only 49%? And the, the popular thing to do was to not tell her the truth? If I didn't tell Rachel the truth, I would be living with a fucking lie in my soul. I wouldn't be able to live with that. I would not be able to live with myself. And I wouldn't be able to hang out around Rachel without having a panic attack every single time. So I'm happy I did what I did because at the end of the day, they looked happy and they looked, they looked free. So I'm proud of my decision. I don't give a fuck what these stats say. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, here we go. You killed the plant with soda. You killed the plant with neglect. Okay, I literally don't even remember doing that. You, um, but okay, I guess. You accepted David's photograph. You rejected. Who would reject? Like, you have to be a stone-cold asshole to not accept that. I really want to meet the 10% of people that just rejected that. You didn't have Drew's money at the start of the day. You gave Drew's money to Damon. You returned Drew's money. Huh? Okay, I don't get that one. You didn't visit the Norths at the hospital. Oh, okay. My bad. I didn't even realize that I had to do that. I forgot I had to do that. Okay. You didn't donate to the firefighters fund. Where was this? 97% of the world also missed that. Where the fuck was that? Okay, sorry. You convicted Damon- You convinced Damon that Sheldon was the snitch. Oh, okay, cool. See, I told you. I got that. Rachel didn't meet her mother 74%. Wow. Rachel met her mother 26%. Whoa. How the fuck was- what? How the fuck were they even able to meet? How the fuck? 
Apparently, I could have convinced Sarah to meet... What? Whoa! How? That's crazy. That's crazy. What is this? Are they taking their license picture? Oh, oh, it's like a little photo booth. That looks nothing like them. <laughs> what? That looks nothing like them. That looks like Megan Trainer on the right. Wait, what is this? Chloe calling. What is this? Oh. 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 Ew. That's creepy. If y'all want to know what that means, go play Life is Strange 1. I am not satisfied. Y'all, the sun is up. I just, I just played Life is Strange until the sunrise. But I just had some time to process that whole last clusterfuck. What the fuck was that? What was that ending? This game put me through hell and back. I did so much illegal shit just for Rachel to not even meet her mom? I did all that shit for what? For what? I wrote down some things that I'm questioning while I'm processing that last segment. First of all, when Chloe shows up to the fucking scene at the end and she sees Frank's trailer and we see the smear of what I thought was poop, but I guess it was blood. She's like, Frank, where are you? I'll get you out of here. Where was Frank? Because when I walked in, Frank wasn't there. I looked in his RV, he wasn't there. Where the fuck was Frank? And how the fuck, how was he able to drive his RV to the scene when he just got stabbed after Damien stabbed Rachel? How was Damien able to drive to that scene to confront Damon again? And why is he confronting Damon? Like, what the fuck? Why isn't Frank in the hospital or dead from bleeding to death. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. And also, Frank shows up to the scene after I'm already getting into it with Damien. Like, he literally showed up after Damien beat my ass. Where the fuck were you? You weren't in your RV. Were you just walking around outside? Why were you walking around outside when you have a wound? Where were you? And why are you just now showing up? It doesn't make sense. Another thing is, when Damien beat my ass and kicked me in the head, that was definitely a concussion. I thought that that sequence afterwards, when Chloe wakes up and sees Sarah sitting at the table smoking a cig, I thought that that was a dream. Because how the fuck is Sarah not high out of her mind on heroin? This bitch was just chilling. <laughs> she was just chilling, smoking a cig at the table, not high as fuck on heroin, even though she just got injected with so much of it. And why didn't Frank take my unconscious beaten ass to the hospital after he killed Damon? Because apparently Frank ended up killing Damon, Damien or whatever the fuck. So after he killed Damon, he just left me on the ground in the middle of nowhere in a shack with Rachel's mom. I thought that me and Frank were cool. The other thing is, yeah, Sarah was just chilling, almost overdosing on heroin. She was just chilling and able to have a conversation with me. Why the fuck was she just waiting for me? And why didn't she help me or take me to the hospital? Next thing, where did she get that cigarette? And why is she smoking a cigarette right now just watching me unconscious? The next thing I have a problem with is Sarah literally said to Chloe, just don't tell Rachel that any of this shit happened. Don't tell Rachel that her father hired the criminal who is wanted right now by his company 
Don't tell Rachel that her dad hired this criminal who almost just killed Rachel and you, Chloe. And he knows that. He's literally in the hospital with Rachel knowing that he hired the man that almost killed his daughter to kill his ex-wife? And why are you trying to kill your ex-wife when she hasn't been on drugs in over a year and is obviously trying to make a positive change in her life? Why do we gotta kill her? And why is Sarah sitting here in front of me telling me that Rachel's dad is a good guy? Listen, Sarah, you don't have to be Rachel's mom because there's no way that that can organically happen anymore. You missed your chance and I get that you know that, but bitch, Damien is killed. Frank killed the man. Therefore, you're not gonna be harmed anymore. Yeah, Rachel's dad can figure out another way to kill you, but for now, now is the chance and your like only chance to meet Rachel because no one's out to get you right now. So why the fuck are you all of a sudden like, mm, no, actually don't tell Rachel any of this happened. I'm not gonna try and meet her anymore. When the whole fucking game was about them meeting. The whole fucking game was about them meeting. And now you're just gonna like walk away, even though now is a good opportunity to meet her because Damien's dead. And now Rachel knows that her dad is a fucking asshole who hired the man that tried to kill Rachel to kill Rachel's real mom. Why is Sarah not fighting to meet her daughter? Because isn't that what the whole game was? Was Sarah not just begging Damien to let her go and to let her meet Rachel? She literally was just begging. And now Damien's dead so you can go meet- Like you can. What changed? What changed? I get that you relapsed from the heroin and that was forced on you. That probably felt really good. Let me help you. I'll take you to a rehab center if you still wanted to do heroin after you got drugged just now because you did so well for a whole ass year. You did so good. And because you did so good, you know that you can do that again. It's just like, bruh. Sarah, I don't think you realize all the fuck shit that I had to do on my own because I love your daughter just for you guys to meet today or whenever she gets out of the hospital. I literally broke into your ex-husband's home just so I can find out where you were and save your life. I literally saved your ass. How are you not thanking me? And all I'm asking of you in return is for you to meet your daughter and now you don't want to anymore? make it make sense. I got my ass whooped <laughs> by a 30 year old man beaten. I got my head kicked just so I can save your ass. Also, I have another question. How is Chloe not in jail? Because obviously Rachel's dad knows the money is missing and knows someone snuck into his house and took his money. And yes, it was framed on the one bitch. What's his fucking name, Elliot? Where the fuck did the burner phone go? Do the police have it? And if they do, they can see the texts. I'm just like, what? I don't get why Sarah wasn't so happy that she could finally meet her fucking daughter after all this bullshit when she knows all the fucked up shit about Rachel's dad but is telling Chloe to convince Rachel that her dad is awesome. I just don't get why Sarah and James, aka Rachel's dad, couldn't have a healthy conversation, adult to adult, parent to parent. I don't get why James can't just be like, hey, listen, you fucked up. 
you are not allowed to officially, I guess, be Rachel's mom because you weren't there for her, you abandoned her. You can't be like a permanent parental figure in Rachel's life. But because I do know how important it is for women to have some sort of a relationship with their mothers who gave birth, to them. I understand how it's important and how it would affect Rachel if she got to meet ya. Because Rachel already knows that you exist now. Rachel knows. I don't get why right after Rachel found out, why couldn't James just tell Sarah like, hey, y'all can meet, but I have to be there and I'm gonna sit with you guys both in a public park for one hour, then that's cool. And also I want you to get drug tested every single week and I wanna see the results and I wanna be there for the drug tests to make sure that you're sober and in a good healthy headspace to meet Rachel. If you care about Rachel so much and want to be in her life, I want to go to your drug tests and see that you're actually clean and then you can see her for an hour every month. Why wouldn't that be a thing? Why do we have to kill people? Why do we have to be controlling? And why do we have to be crazy? Because all that does is put more harm on to your daughter, Rachel, the person who you're trying to protect. Ugh. So if you guys played the first Life is Strange game, you guys know that that game is all revolved around how Rachel is missing, right? And how upset Chloe is about Rachel being missing and shit. So the whole game is like, we're trying to figure that out. I thought that this game that I played before the storm was going to tie that in at the end, how Rachel went missing so it can make the first game make sense. Because why the fuck are we playing this game if we don't even know what, why the fuck Rachel went missing in the first place? It's like, yeah, seeing Rachel and Chloe's relationship in this game was awesome. And this game was great. I'm not shitting on the game. I had an amazing time playing it. Y'all saw me. It was great. But I just wish that there was another chapter. I wish that this chapter wasn't so rushed and forced and I wish that it didn't leave out so much shit and I wish that things were explained better because I was confused. I wish the fourth chapter, if there would have been one, could have explained how Rachel and Frank the drug dealer ended up being in a relationship. Because in the first Life is Strange game, Chloe finds out that Rachel was dating Frank at some point. Because there was pictures of them being all lovey and cute in the fucking RV. Rachel cheated on Chloe with Frank, the drug dealer. And so I thought that this game was gonna explain some of that. And that's what I thought was gonna be like the ending of this game, but nothing, nothing got explained. I wanna know why, how and why the fuck Rachel and Frank started dating. I know why Rachel went missing now, cause I finished the first game, but I wanna see the transition from Frank and Rachel dating to her going missing. Like that part is just so unclear. Maybe they did that on purpose so it can be up to our imagination, but if makers of this game want the players to feel more excited and more connected to the game, you need to give us those details so we can watch that and be like, oh fuck, oh fuck, that explains everything. Like I wanted that like mind blowing moment at the end, but I didn't get it. And this was supposed to be a spin-off of the first game. All the shit that happened before the first game and why the first game was the first game. But it didn't even answer any of those questions. I'm just so, I feel so unsatisfied. I feel like, say you're at your favorite restaurant and it's your birthday. Your mom's like, hey girly, you can order whatever you want off the menu. And I'm like, yes, it's my motherfucking birthday. I order the lobster tail from Red Lobster and I'm so excited with mashed potatoes on the side and scooping that shit up, dipping it in butter. And I'm about to put it in my mouth. My mom's like, hey, 
just make sure that you don't swallow it. You can like chew it around and shit, but you gotta spit it out because your throat doesn't work, remember? And I'm like, oh, so I'm like chewing it, really tasty flavors, but I can't swallow it so it's not satisfying that like itch, you know? That's how I feel right now about the ending of this game. After processing, <laughs> after processing my feelings, um, I wrote down how the ending should have gone and what I would have liked to see. This is what would have made sense. Life is Strange writers, hit me up. Let me be on your team. Let me be on your team. I'm such a fucking nerd. <laughs> Hear me out. So remember, Rachel and Frank end up being in a relationship after all this shit. And Chloe had no idea. And remember, Frank was the one who killed Damien. So listen to this. This is what the ending should have been. Chloe tells Rachel in the hospital about the truth. So about how Frank killed Damien and how Rachel's mom wanted Rachel to have a better life, not realizing how fucked up James was. I wanted Chloe to actually have that conversation. Like your mom said this, she thinks that you would have a better life if you just didn't know the truth about your dad and like what he tried to do to Sarah and like how he hired Damien, blah, blah, blah. I wanted Chloe to just spill this all out and I wanted us, the people who are playing, to see the conversation instead of just a muted, <gasps> reactionary segment that was very rushed. Rachel is obviously pissed at first about her dad lying, but is thankful that Chloe told her the truth on what actually happened that day. Rachel lies to Chloe and said that she's gonna stop looking for her mom and trying to meet her mom and have a relationship with her because clearly Sarah doesn't care to fight to meet Rachel anymore. Sarah just walked away at the end. Rachel's like, fuck, like, I'm not even gonna try anymore. Like, this just gives me clarity. I'm gonna move on from this and just forget about her, you know? But I wanted that to be a lie. I wanted her to say that to Chloe so that Chloe doesn't have to worry anymore about Sarah and about Rachel meeting and then they can just move on, you know? After Rachel getting out of the hospital, Rachel continues to try to find her mom without Chloe. She didn't want to get Chloe involved because she realizes that she already put Chloe through so much shit. Chloe has done so much for Rachel and I wanted Rachel to finally have that moment of like, damn, I put her through so much and for nothing, you know? So I'm just gonna leave her out of this, but I still want to find my mom on my own. Because you're not gonna sit here and tell me that after this whole game, Rachel just decides to, you know, give up and not even try to meet her at least one time. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that search is still gonna be within her no matter what the fuck her mom said to Chloe. <laughs> okay. I also think that it would have been a cool idea if at this point it switched into we are in Rachel's perspective. Like we are Rachel in this last chapter. Rachel ends up getting in contact with Frank and she goes to meet him. So she can try to talk to him and try to get some more information about her mom and just, you know, thank him for killing Damien, I guess. And for, I don't know, just like helping the situation out. Then she realizes that Frank saved her mom slash Chloe's life by killing Damien. So she starts to latch on to him. She starts to see him more often because she's thinking like, oh my God, he cares about me. He killed Damien for me. He knows so much about my shit. He can really help me with this. Like he can actually help me because he has the resources and the information. I trust him. He's like crazy, he like kills people and shit. Lying to Chloe because she knows Chloe will freak the fuck out. So she's just kind of being low key and like sneaking off and meeting up with Frank to like hang out and just latch on to someone. And also like a male figure. She's craving for a male figure that cares about her right now and just 
an authority figure, I guess, too, to just fucking care about her. So she's lying to Chloe, meeting up with Frank, right? And Frank and Rachel start getting romantically involved and they start dating on the low. But Rachel's still lying to Chloe and she's still in that relationship with Chloe, but she's kind of getting distant because she's starting to fall in love with Frank and she's realizing that like, Frank is giving her more right now, whereas Chloe can't really like give her anything anymore. Because this whole fucking game, Rachel was just trying to use Chloe to like gain information and just shit to meet her mom, but now she's getting that from Frank and she's latching on to Frank. Cheating on Chloe, but Chloe has no idea and like Chloe's like sad because she's like, damn, I thought we loved each other, what's going on? Rachel just uses the excuse of like, I'm just going through it. She starts cheating on Chloe and that's how those pics of Rachel and Frank were a thing in the first game. Them like dancing in the RV, like cute romantic shit and that's where those pictures come from. Rachel and Frank are meeting up so much and like low-key dating for so long and their like whole thing is trying to find Rachel's mom and they're driving around and like trying to make connections on where Rachel's mom could be but it's been so long and they can't find Rachel's mom anywhere they start to low-key stop really caring you know they start to care less and less and less and instead of making those interactions just based on let's find my mom those interactions just start becoming more about them two being together instead of them two finding rachel's mom right they're just not gonna find her mom they're starting to run out of information and they're starting to give up rachel gives all of her energy to Frank instead of Chloe in order to fill that emptiness inside which yearns for her mom. Like it yearns for meeting her mom. She's just trying to fill that hole by being with Frank and she realizes that she doesn't need Chloe anymore. Rachel's just trying to surround herself with people right now because she's realizing that she only had Chloe and she just was craving something else because now she realizes that her dad's fucked up and that her mom just kind of gave up. Then is when the whole missing shit happens. And I don't want to spoil on what happens to Rachel and how she was missing, but I think that that could tie in with her be going missing and shit. Like, come on, writers. I did that in 30 minutes. I still probably got some details wrong and you guys will probably correct me about ooh, some shit that wouldn't make sense, but it seemed so lazy because the whole game was great and it was leading up to like something huge. Yeah, Damien was killed, whoopty fucking whoop. If you're really gonna sit here and not let Rachel meet her mom, okay, fine. Then let's figure out how Rachel and Frank ended up dating because that is a that is a cold fact from the first game or you could have made it a happy ending and rachel and her mom could have finally you know had their moment and i know that that was a possibility but i looked up on youtube what that looked like and that was what 10 seconds you couldn't even hear them talk it just showed them hugging by the lighthouse it was just like not it it was not satisfying for me and i know a lot of people are gonna hate on me because a lot of people love the game i just had my expectations so high because the first game was so good and i was really into this game bitch i bought a t-shirt do you see this gaming chair do you see this fucking headset i'm into it i'm all in what happened I know a lot of you guys are going to tell me to play the second Life is Strange game because apparently that game is a lot better. When I said that I was playing Before the Storm, everyone was just like, Sarah, skip it. Play Life is Strange 2. It's like fucking insane. So I'm really excited to play Life is Strange 2. I'm hopeful that I leave that game more satisfied. If you guys want me to play that game, I can. Or if you're sick of this shit, that's cool because i'm having fun and who knew that i'd be so invested in this shit it's a video game i dead ass just wrote a whole novel on what the ending should have been what 
what thank you guys for watching if you made it this far <laughs> if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content life is fucking strange i'm gonna drink a red bull and stay up all day Bye, love you.